Today marks the last day of campaigns in Bungoma ahead of Thursday's by-election. Candidates are actually not allowed to carry out campaigns this evening and tomorrow. The Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission is expected to start distribution of ballot papers to various polling stations in the county. Now, Ben Katili is in Bungoma with the last effort by candidates to woo voters. Campaigns for the Bungoma senatorial by-election reached fever pitch Tuesday as all the four contenders stepped up their search for votes ahead of the polls that are slated for Thursday. According to Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission regulations, Tuesday was the last day of official campaigns and all the camps made the most of it. Former Webuye Member of Parliament Musikari Kombos vying for the Bungoma Senate seat on a Newford Kenya party ticket made a grueling round about the county, accompanied by Amani coalition figures Musalia Mudavadi and Eugene Omalwa, among other leaders. <laughs> Culminating in a big rally at the poster grounds in Bungoma town. <laughs> Combo, whose successful petition bundled Moses Batangula out of the Senate, rallied voters behind his cause one more time, promising to deliver peace and development. A vote for Combo is a vote for peace. A vote for Combo is a vote for security. Amani coalition leader Musali Mudavadi also drummed up support for Combo, promising to unite the region. Honorable Raila, yes. even if my house is a hut, yes. a thatched hut, yes. please respect my house. Yes. Bungoma governor Ken Lusaka also threw his weight behind Combo. Nikiwa governor wenu hapa leo, nimekuja kusema kwamba, nina itapitisha yota ambayo, tumesema kubaliana kwamba, kupate kiongozi kama mwishimua Combo, ambayo atapusaidia. A few hundred meters across town at the Masinde Mulero Stadium in Kandui, the Code Coalition also held another big rally, as Moses Batangula made a final call to Bungoma voters, to reinstate him. We stand here before you to give testimony to the will of the people of Bungoma. Wetangula is vying for the seat he lost in an election petition on a Ford Kenya ticket, which is part of the Code Coalition. He remained hopeful of recapturing the seat. To send out a clear warning to our detractors that we shall neither be cowed nor stopped. Code leader Raila Odinga and his co-principal Kalonzo Musioka were also in tow to drum up support for the third co-principal in the minority coalition. Failure by Wetangula to recapture the Bungoma seat would lead to a situation where all three court leaders would be out of parliament, a situation the court camp is confident of avoiding. The other two candidates, former Bumula MP before Liwakoli was running on a Labour Party ticket and independent candidate David Makali had relatively low-key final campaigns. Efforts to balance power in the Senate between Cord and Jubilee continue and as the curtain falls on campaigns ahead of Thursday's by-election here in Bungoma, Cord co-principal Moses Wetangula is facing a formidable three-pronged challenge and a must-win bid to retain the Bungoma seat. Residents of Bungoma will make that all-important decision come Thursday. Ben Kitili, KTN, Poster Grounds, Bungoma.